Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another moving vlog. Yay! Really excited. Just in case you're new here or you need to be caught up because you haven't seen my recent videos. My name is Jessica. I'm a digital nomad currently living in Anchorage, Alaska. I have been in this current apartment for the last month and a half and we are leaving in two days to go to the next apartment in Anchorage. And I'm really, really excited because this place has been fantastic. I've really liked it. There's a lot of pluses to this place, but there are also a lot of really annoying practical things about this place that I did not like. And so I'm really ready for the move really ready for the move. I also had a really stressful week and just have been feeling super blah. I finally finished my work. It's like 1230 on Saturday. So now we have one and a half days to decompress, finish my puzzle so I can enjoy it for a little bit and pack everything up, clean, do all the things. So the first thing on the agenda to get ready for moving is to go to the health food store that is nearby. It's a lot closer to this place than it is to the next place I'll be staying in. So I'm gonna go now and stock up on the rest of the medical supplies, like supplements that I need for the rest of my time in Anchorage. So that's on the agenda today. And let's get to the video. Okay, time to tackle the first round of dishes. We got Taylor Swift going in here, obviously, and it's time to address this situation. Another big part of the prep for leaving a place is taking advantage of all the, like really soaking in the things that are unique to that place and just soaking in and being grateful for the time that you're spending there. So right now there is high aurora borealis activity so we are going out one last time in the middle of the night to check if we can see anything. Not only was that a bust, but now we've really woken ourselves up. I had, I just got finished doing yoga and was feeling like tired and sleepy and now we're feeling very awake. <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, it looks pretty cool out there and it's like silent. So it's really beautiful. But. Now we're very awake. <laughs>
Next up, laundry, because this is gonna be actually the last time I have a laundry machine for at least three months because the next place I go does not have one and the place after that, which I'll be in for two months, does not have one. So, I am expecting to potentially be washing my hand clothes by hand at least for the next month. I'm not sure about Boise. It depends on how close the laundromat is. But anywho, I've taken a shower so I can make sure I get as much clothes in there as possible. And that's what's happening. See that? <laughs> Holy crap. This stuff is so hot. Ugh. <gasps> Did I wash it again? No, I didn't. This feels more wet than it did the last time I checked. What does that mean? Why is... it? I don't think it steamed this much the other times. Oh, this is weird. What is this? Oh, okay, it's not wet. What's... Can somebody explain to me what's happening here?
It is time for a tour. I've actually been here for quite a few hours. I was literally just sitting here um, appreciating this view and kind of taking in how amazing this place is. So this is my little work nook over here. This place has a living room and a bedroom and it is attached to the house of the hosts. The desk is a sled. <laughs> um, there are so many little decorations in here. There are endless moose and bears hiding everywhere. So cute. And I'm honestly obsessed and that's why I haven't videoed at all since getting here because I've been really overwhelmed with how beautiful it is and how grateful I am to be here. I'm going to be here for my birthday. Moose bear <laughs> everywhere so so well decorated and cute and cozy and just Alaska everywhere and not to mention the freaking view it's unbelievable and we have a separate bedroom with two lots of mirrors <laughs> with two beds to choose from <laughs> and all the bears look how cute I love this guy. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to choose this bed over that one because of the view that we have. We have the view literally from our bed out here. And I'm really hoping I'll be able to see the northern lights from here. Something like this, please, please, please. <laughs> Because even though I've been in Alaska since October, I have not seen that yet. Because everywhere I've been has been too um, light. Too many lights. So we've got tons of little Alaskan books all over the place, which is cool. Cute. This is the view from the front. How freaking cute is this? literally a forest it's a forest oh my god you guys i i'm obsessed with this painting i love this place so so much there are a couple of negatives and things i'm a little bit worried about but overall i just cannot get over how cute everything is she has so many different things here this whole thing is tea this is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen new favorite mug <laughs> she even has a theme with the appliances so there's not actually a kitchen here which is one of the things I'm a little bit concerned about oh there's the bear I didn't even notice so cool this whole thing is filled with treats I can't eat most of them but I still think it's cool that she provided them um, jam and butter because when you're in Airbnbs uh, it's very very different how much is provided then all these kitchen supplies down here so the problem as I was saying is the fridge is very very small okay this is the freezer <laughs> so it's pretty much like a mini fridge situation so I'm a little bit concerned about that in terms of cooking my meals as well as there being no counter space. But I don't care. I'll figure that out. I'll eat soups, whatever. I'm just so happy to have this view. Um, it's just too beautiful for me to, to even worry about that stuff. Like, I'll figure it out. Another problem, though, is... Um, this is the little work nut that they have, and 
obviously that's not a great work chair. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So that's the new place. And I am so excited, you guys. I literally, like I said, I got here. This angle is not even, is it? Hopefully that's better. Um, I got here and I was so overwhelmed by how beautiful it was that I couldn't even, like, I couldn't, I couldn't even video myself. I was just really sitting here and feeling immense, immense gratitude for being in a place this beautiful. Um, it's peaceful and it's quiet. It's not in the middle of the city anymore. So there's not any noise um, except dogs barking, which is fine. Um, I'm really happy to be here and I'm really excited to spend my last month in Alaska here. So, oh my gosh, isn't it the cutest thing ever? It's so cute. I'm just really, really grateful. That's the only emotion I'm really feeling is just gratitude. So. I can't wait to share the month with you in this apartment or guest suite or whatever you want to call it. Um, oh my god. I just noticed something. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> also, my hat was not on correctly, but <laughs> I just noticed that duck and that's kind of cool. So feeling really grateful to be here. Really excited about the next month. I think it'll be really relaxing, really refreshing, really beautiful. And hopefully I'll get to do some hiking around the area. And that's all guys, I'm so excited. Um, I love moving and this is why I love it because you get surprised by places. And Honestly, I don't even have words because I'm just too, I'm overwhelmed, really, really overwhelmed. So thank you guys for being here with me. I'm going to end the video out here because we will have plenty of time to spend in this apartment later on. Um, hopefully we'll have some sunsets and sunrises to show you because I'll actually be able to see the full horizon for it and the northern light so I'm really hopeful that we'll get to see all those things because there's no light here and we have a perfect view of downtown Anchorage so hopefully we'll get to see those things later on and maybe some moose too I went out actually on a short little walk today and I saw what appeared to be fresh moose tracks so I'm pretty sure there are moose here and then I might see them like that they're frequent enough that I'll see them so I hope you guys are as excited as I am thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye could have been a painter could have studied law instead you are my paintbrush you're my curriculum